Mini hurdles are a great tool for further developing and reinforcing recovery mechanics. They can be included as part of a warm up, circuit station or as a specific activity. The 30 cm high hurdles give students a physical obstacle to work over, which encourages the toe up, heel up, knee up principle. If the student does not recover the leg efficiently, there is a strong chance that the hurdle will be kicked or knocked over. If two or three hurdles are knocked over in succession, the student can immediately understand that the mechanics are poor and make a physical adjustment. Conversely, if students can run through without displacing any hurdles, they can physically understand that sensation and understand a good recovery cycle. The following is a series of progressions that you can apply to a teaching situation, with the end result being an improvement in recovery technique and the capacity to maintain this technique at high speeds. As with most skills, a slow speed with good technique is mastered before moving on to more difficult activities. Eventually students should not have to think or concentrate on what they are doing, as the skills will become ingrained and learnt on a subconscious level. The distance between the hurdles depends to a degree on the age and the size of the participants. Use approximately two steps between each hurdle as a guide, and make adjustments if needed. If you do not have hurdles available, try substituting them with obstacles of similar height, although care must be given to the stability of the barrier. If it is too stable it may be dangerous, and must fall easily when kicked or knocked by students. The one foot walk is similar to the toe over knee on the spot drill. It targets a single leg recovery action, but is done so with a walk, stepping up and over each hurdle. Watch for the foot being brought around to the side of the hurdle instead of directly over. Make sure the supporting leg takes a very short step and is placed directly beside each hurdle upon landing. Landing in front or behind will encourage poor technique. Good arm action is emphasised with all mini hurdle activities. The dead leg run progresses this activity with speed. This increases the difficulty and encourages a faster recovery cycle. When watching from the front, you should see a straight line between hip, knee and ankle. Two foot walk progresses on the single leg activities and forces the students to step over each hurdle with alternating legs. Working through the hurdles encourages a stronger triple extension. A common fault seen with this and the following series of drills is students dropping into a backward lean. This encourages a studded jumping reaching with the foot motion which leads to very poor mechanics. Emphasis must be placed on a strong midsection and stable hips with a forward lean. The two foot run progresses this drill into a more specific sprinting motion. It represents the ability to master a number of mechanical skills that all contribute to the straight line speed potential. These include straight line drive, good posture, arm action, recovery, strong extension and light ground contact. The double foot series decreases the running speed through the hurdles but encourages faster footwork. Two steps are taken in between each hurdle instead of one. This doubles the number of steps performed for each run and doubles the intensity. Practice this with a walk before progressing into a run. When progressing into a run, students tend to fall back into a jumping motion instead of recovering normally over the hurdles. The foot sound should be even and in control and make sure you change the leading leg with each run throughout the hurdles. The run through with a sprint out adds a competitive aspect to your hurdle work. Choose from the selection of drills to run through the hurdles and upon reaching the end, explosively accelerate to the marker at a set distance. The sprint at the end places greater pressure on the hurdle technique and highlights any flaws. The mind tends to think ahead to the sprint and is not focused on efficient technique. Natural movement and agility can be greatly enhanced through hurdle drills. The 
hurls help develop a stronger lateral drive as the height of the obstacle represents a challenge to drive over. Start with the walk and progress into a run. This is also an excellent conditioning drill and enhances balance and footwork. Arms must be emphasised to maintain rhythm and assist with the drive and make sure the students stay square and lift with the hip to get the knee up. The lateral run with a change is an excellent agility exercise. Students or players pair up and begin a lateral race through the hurdles. Upon the command change, they prop and go back in the opposite direction. This change of direction should take place with only one step. This is characterised by an immediate change of direction without stopping or a heavy braking sound. Students with poor strength and footwork will tend to buckle on the braking leg and come to a complete stop. This drill can be made to be very physically demanding as the duration of this activity can be manipulated by the teacher or the coach. You can go for 5 seconds, 10 seconds or up to 30 seconds.